Hey everybody! It's been about probably six, seven, eight weeks since I made a video and you know I was listening to DC just a few minutes ago. It's, it's about five after ten o'clock at night on a Monday night and um, Dago Cleo was talking about people that used to vlog that didn't vlog and and how we miss them and because they're a part of our lives they Especially people that's been on YouTube seven or eight years. I know it's probably been over six years, maybe seven years that I've been on YouTube. And, and I find that I'm getting away from YouTube. And I don't want to do that. I don't because I've made so many wonderful friends here on YouTube. And I've met a lot of them. And it is fun to make videos and share, and um, I don't know why I'm getting away from it. I really don't. There's been so many people that's left YouTube, and like like that, like DC said, it is sad. It's sad. And I think the biggest reason I don't vlog enough is because I find myself boring. And I think that you all think that I'm boring, and you know... To spend seven or eight minutes with me, you know, it, I don't want to think it's like a waste of time, but uh, to me it feels that way, you know what, because I do the same thing every day, just like today, I went down the road to the dollar store and picked up a few things, and uh, uh, James wants something easy for supper tonight, he just wants a salad, and that's going to be easy, and you know, my day's waiting on the ups man, and going to the store and straightening up a little bit, you know what I mean, and um, I just find that boring, boring if I had to tell you that every time I vlog, but I'm going to try to be better, I say that every time I make a video, and I, I do, I mean it every single time, I do, but, but really, uh, James, <clears throat> he had a three day weekend, and uh, He's still working on that car, and it still won't start. He got the car started, and he was so happy. And this has been about a month ago, maybe. He got it started. He got it, and he put the hood on it and put everything back together, pulled it out of the garage, even pulled my Jeep back into the garage. And for some reason, he's done something to it, or something's happened, and the car won't start. And it's so aggravating for him. I mean, he spent so much money on it, and he can't figure out what in the world's wrong with it. And uh, this last part he ordered was a computer <laughs> for the car. <laughs> it's something every week, two or three times a week, he has to order for it. And and he, it's really aggravating to him. It really is. And I told him, I said, well, honey, it may just be a long-term project for you. You know what I mean? But he wants to get it done, and he spends all his uh, free time working on it. I mean, for hours and hours a day. But that's what's going on with James. <laughs> Since I last vlogged, I've had a birthday. I'm 59 years old. Just think, next year's the big one. <laughs> the big one, if I, if I have another birthday. I haven't made up my mind whether I'm going to have any more after this year. <laughs> I don't like birthdays. I don't like my birthday. And I have it real. I mean, it <clears throat> birthdays don't really bother me. Not really. The hardest birthday I had to endure was 30. It about killed me. I cried all day long when I turned 30. I don't know why I did, but I was working. And I cried at work all day long. I just, I didn't want people to tell me happy birthday. I was just, it was like... That meant I was getting out. And you know, 30 is so young. <laughs> but I turned 40 and it didn't phase me. I turned 50 it didn't phase me. Probably when I turned 60 it won't phase me. It probably won't. <laughs> but I still, I don't, I don't like people buying me things for my birthday. I don't. I just don't. I'm not big on birthdays. I never have been. But also, I had another mammogram. My yearly mammogram and it came back normal. I was so thankful for that. I really was. She, I tell you what, uh, I dreaded the whole time waiting for me to have to have it, you know. 
And then when I, uh, James brought home the mail that night, and it was from the hospital, and my heart was thumping so hard. I could feel it in my ears. And I opened up that envelope, and it said normal. And that just, I just cried and cried. <laughs> I'm so glad that I don't have to go through what I went through last year. I really am. And I hope everyone gets a mammogram. It's important. But, you know, I, I still don't get other tests I should be getting. You know, my doctor's all the time on me, but I've got through that mammogram this year. <laughs> but remember, there's, I have things I want to talk to you about, but I don't want to make this video too long. And I did want to come on and say, hey, I hope every one of my American friends had a great 4th of July. And I believe it was Canada Day, too, this past week. Happy Canada Day to all my friends, and um, I hope everyone is happy and healthy, and I tr I'll try to get on here sooner than later. <laughs> I do have something I want to talk to you about. I'll do that next vlog, okay? This is Melissa reporting from Up in the Holler. Bye, everybody.